What are life and career skills? For centuries, one of the main purposes of education has been to help students achieve their full potential and acquire knowledge and skills relevant to their chosen field. This is no longer good enough. Nowadays, students need to develop a set of lifelong skills that will set them up for success in the 21st century. These skills, called 21st century skills, global competencies, life skills, or deep learning skills in different publications, are recognized across the globe as essential in work and life. Teachers generally agree that schools must weave these skills into learning experiences and instruction. However, Many of them are not completely sure what these skills are and how they can include them in their teaching practice. There isn't a single widely accepted definition of 21st century skill sets. The existing lists created by think tanks and international organizations contain a number of overlapping skill labels and descriptors. The most commonly cited ones include communication, collaboration, critical thinking, and creativity. These skills pertain to both life and career skills. They are also transferable. They provide the base for the development of other skill sets. Because of their importance for student success in today's world, we decided to make them a focus of this virtual exchange program. Let's have a closer look at these skills. Communication will help you be able to Articulate thoughts and ideas effectively using oral, written, and nonverbal communication skills in a variety of forms and contexts. To listen effectively to decipher meaning, including knowledge, values, attitudes, and intentions. To use communication for a range of purposes. To inform, instruct, motivate, and persuade. To utilize multiple media and technologies and know how to judge their effectiveness as well as assess their impact. To communicate effectively in diverse environments, including multilingual. Collaboration will help you be able to collaborate with others, to demonstrate ability to work effectively and respectfully with diverse teams, to exercise flexibility and willingness to be helpful in making necessary compromises to accomplish a common goal, to assume shared responsibility for collaborative work and value the individual contributions made by each team member. Critical thinking helps you be able to use various types of reasoning, inductive, deductive, etc., as appropriate to the situation, to make judgments and decisions, to effectively analyze and evaluate evidence, arguments, claims, and beliefs. To analyze and evaluate major alternative points of view. To synthesize and make connections between information and arguments. To interpret information and draw conclusions based on the best analysis. To reflect critically on learning experiences and processes and to solve different kinds of non-familiar problems in both conventional and innovative ways. Creativity will help you be able to use a wide range of idea creation techniques, such as brainstorming, to create new and worthwhile ideas, to elaborate, refine, analyze, and evaluate your own ideas in order to improve and maximize creative efforts, to develop, implement, and communicate new ideas to others effectively, to demonstrate originality and inventiveness in work, and understand the real-world limits to adopting new ideas, and to view failure as an opportunity to learn, to understand that creativity and innovation is a long-term cyclical process of small successes and frequent mistakes. Quite a few of the items included in this inventory are not new to English language teachers. As a matter of fact, 
Many approaches and techniques that they have been implementing in their classes for some years actually support the development of 21st century skills. Therefore, before we start exploring how to embed life and career skills in language instruction, we should answer the following questions. What components of life and career skills are we already teaching? What are we already doing well? What can we learn from these effective practices? What can we do better? And how can we make that happen? What is missing from our teaching practice? And how can we include what's missing? Let's start our inquiry 